Hivers. Welcome to Honeybee Stamping Hive, where a creative buzz is always in the air. I am Tashana Lundy, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Florida, serving customers all over the United States. And today, we're going to be doing our fourth and final card in the Hey Chuck series. We're going to be using the um, Geometric Patterns Embossing Folder. This um, pack of folders comes with two different um, embossing folders. And we're going to be using this one on the bottom that has three different... Um, textures on it of course we're going to be using the hey chuck stamp set along with the stylus shape dies okay but before we get started on our project of course we have to go over the buzzworthy business of the day so we're going to get started with our welcome in june paper pumpkin kit you have until june 10th to subscribe to get this particular paper pumpkin kit that makes nine cards and comes with a knight of navy stamping spot it coordinates with the countryside and suite of products you don't need those to do the paper pumping kit. They're just coordination. Um, they just coordinate. And then if they're still available, we have an add-on here that has three dies in it for $6. And that item number to order the dies are 163192. Those are while supplies last, okay? Next up, we have our May host code for 2023 at Honeybee Stampin' Hive. This is the code I would like for you to use whenever you're placing an order with me. Unless your order is $150 or more, do not use this host code because you'll qualify for Stampin' Rewards and Stampin' Rewards equals free products from Stampin' Up! And we don't want you to miss out on that. However, if you place an order of $60 or more using this host code, you will receive a free package of the opaque ovals from me at Honeybee Stampin' Hive. If your order is $75 or more, I'm going to go ahead and throw in the Delightfully Eclectic Designer Series Paper Sampler Pack, but you still need to use that host code, okay? You'll get both of these at a $75 purchase or more, $60, you're just going to get the opaque ovals. Lastly, we have our mystery boxes. I am still trying to get rid of all of my extra Stampin' Up! products that I love to keep around after they retire but i have to get rid of them so i'm selling the medium flat rate boxes from the usps for 40 dollars each they are stuffed with brand new products um used products but they're all retired products okay and they're all stamp it up i can only sell in the u.s and all sales are final so let's go ahead and get started on our project with the end of that so we're going to start with a card base of um thick basic white that is eight and a half by Five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I'm just getting my bone folder so we can burnish this score line. And we're going to have some azure afternoon. This is three and a half by five. We have some pool party here, which is, um, what is this? Three and an eighth by two and five sixteenths. Wow. Let me check my notes. <laughs> Yes, 5 16th. Okay. Then we have some scrap white and some lemon lolly. I'm going to show you all that. Let me, I want to go ahead and get started because I have some stuff to do. Oh, I didn't show you one of the dies we're using. The most important die. Dun, da, da, da. We're going to be using the patchwork dies and we're going to be using um, the sunburst looking one. Okay. I don't know how I forgot that because this is what we're going to use here in a minute. So let me get the embossing, um, the stamp and cut and emboss machine. I'm going to use the big one. So I am going to emboss our pool party. So for that, I think I need plate number one and two number threes. Okay. And number threes are just the clear, the clear plates. So I'm going to put this into our folder and I want to get a bit of everything on here. So I'm going to put it right in the middle there. Put that on our platform. Put our second plate on. Run it through the machine. Now this folder will fit through the mini but the dies i'm using won't so that's why i have the big one out okay just so you know so there's our oh gosh that that looks like a 3d embossing but there's our embossed pool party there now i have some i have the bright and beautiful 
designer series paper here. Um, I'm using a piece out of there. And this piece is cut, I believe it's um, three by three and um, a half. So the designer series paper I'm going to be using, oh, there it is. Yeah, three by three and a half. Okay, so I'm going to be using this piece and we're going to cut using our Starburst um, die from the patchwork dies. Now we only need to get the top portion of this because we only need half because I've gone ahead and die cut some lemon lolly with the same, uh-oh. I forgot, this is not the wrong sandwich for the dies. We need to put plate number two in here for the dies. I was like this, and this is not my cutting plate. This is my cutting plate. <laughs> oh my goodness. I like this one, it's all beat up. I want that one on the bottom. So let's put this back where we had it, up here. We're gonna run this through and I'll come back make sure that went Whoop. there you go we have it cut out okay let me move this and I'll be right back okay so here's the pieces that we cut out and I told you I've already gone ahead and cut that out in lemon lolly and what I did after I cut it out I flipped it over and I taped it up on the back because this one we're leaving together like it is. And what I'm going to do, I am going to alternate every other one with um, the, star, the designer series paper. So I'm just gonna put glue right where I want the the designer series paper to be. So we have glue for this one here. So we're just gonna pop that right over top. And then we did this one here. I'm gonna put it right over the top. Then we have this piece here. Putting it right over the top. Make sure it's all lined up perfectly. And then this, you can either do something else with or throw it away as scraps. Okay. And um, I went ahead and die cut some lemon lolly using the stylus shapes. The, what is this? This is the third smallest um, circle in the stylus shapes dies. And we are going to take some lemon lolly ink with our small blending brush and we're gonna um just get some of this ink on the edges of our circle here this is going to be a cute card i hope <laughs> i had this design in my head and i have not made this card ahead of time to see make sure it comes out right but I usually like the stuff that I make. Sometimes I don't, but usually I do. That's good enough. We just need to get a little bit of color on there. Okay, so now we're gonna take um, our Azure Afternoon and we're gonna do some stamping for our sentiment. And the sentiment says, Rise and shine. We're going to stamp that right here, just like that. That is all we need this for. And then I have some scrap white. You guys know where that's from. If you've been watching this series, we're going to take our ink, the Tuxedo Memento Black, ink up our image. We have the squawking chuck here. So what I call him, look like he's squawking. Gonna stamp him right there. Gonna get a skateboard. We're gonna
gonna stamp it right here. And that is all the stamping done. So we can move all of this stuff out of the way. Now, we're gonna color this skateboard um, using the light azure afternoon and lemon lolly. It might have been, should I use lemon lolly? Yes, let's use some dark lemon lolly. I might need to use, um, I don't want to use black for the tires, for the wheels rather. I think I'm going to use some pebble path for the wheels. On that. And I don't know what I'm thinking, but I should have scrap paper under this. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay. And you guys have seen, seen me color this um, chuck a bunch. So I've already done this ahead of time. I actually stamped and cut out both of these images already. So let me go ahead and die cut our sentiment. So let me, I'm going to bring in the baby boss for this one. Okay, so we have our plates here. Now, we're going to be using um, the banner die from the rectangle. No, not from the rect from the stylus shapes dies. Okay. I want to just put this on here. As you can see, of course, this banner is too long for our sentiment. But I'm going to customize it to fit just like we want it to. Okay. So let's lay this down on our... Stay straight and run this through. Okay. So what we're going to do now, take that off. We are going to slide this down to where we, how long we need it to be. Mm. You can feel the um, die press into the little holes that's on here. If you line it up properly, you can feel it just slide right into the holes. And we're gonna put some washi tape on that to hold it down to make sure it doesn't move on us and run it through one more time to cut the other end. And voila, you have a little short banner, okay? So now let's put our card together. So we're going to start with the um, adding this piece. So since I put, this is just like regular scotch tape on here. Since I put that on there, I can't really use the glue on the back. So what I'm going to do is use some tearing tape. So we're gonna put tearing tape all around. And so that I still have wiggle room, I'll put some the liquid glue right over this tearing tape. Because the tearing tape will give me that very strong quick hold, but I need to Make sure I have wiggle room to put this in the right place. So I'm just gonna put glue over the tear and tape so it won't grab too hard or too strong, I should say, before I'm ready. Okay. And we're gonna just line this up at the top of our Azure Afternoon Try to get even spacing around the three sides, the top and the th two sides there. That looks pretty good. Then we're going to take our embossed piece. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to do that. I wasn't supposed to glue that down because this needs to go here. And we're going to... So let me just mark this with a pencil then. And I'll have to cut it. <laughs> 
So I want about, mm, let me see. I want about this much on there. So I'm gonna mark right here and right here. And I'm gonna get my little guillotine trimmer. Oh. And we're gonna cut this circle from edge to edge. Just like that. Put some liquid glue on there. Put this down right there, like that. Now we can put down our embossed pool party. Now, do we want those going that way or that way? I'll put it this way. We're gonna put this up right next to this. like that okay okay then we're gonna have this onto the front of our card right in the middle here just like that now um like I told you I've already die cut I'm not die cut but I fussy cut the little squawking bird out our little chuck in our skateboard it's going to be riding on the skateboard here and then our sentiment so let's get some dimensionals we're going to get our small dimensionals i'm going to raise up our little chuck here raise them up i'm going to be using a couple of these things Let me see if that's enough. We need to put some on the back of our skateboard here. Maybe I, I might need to cut these in half. These are a little big for the skateboard. Let's see if I can get just a long straight piece for the skateboard. Not necessarily straight, but <laughs> it's a longer piece. We should have went a little longer, Shauna. I didn't want to get it too long and I end up doing it too short. Okay. So we have that, and now we need some on the back of our, what is this called? Our sentiment piece. <laughs> oh my, and I think that's it. So let's go ahead and remove the backings. So now for those, if, if you didn't watch the other three cards in this series, series I'm gonna tell you the colors that I used to color our little chuck here. We had the light and dark misty moonlight, light and dark Cajun craze. Um, we had the dark red, real red. We had dark daffodil delight dark the light mossy metal and light pebble path those are the colors and the dark balmy blue oh man i think i put him wrong i did hey i need him on a skateboard <laughs> i want him up like that because he's on the skateboard Okay, so let me put a little bit of glue under this one foot here. So it will be attached to the skateboard. 
just like that. Okay, isn't that cute? Then we're gonna have this, our sentiment right here, hanging off the edge a little bit, screaming rise and shine. And then I went ahead and did our inside of the card already. And I used the um, five by three and three quarters of Azure Afternoon with a three and a half by four and three quarters basic white. And I stamped an image and colored it using um, balmy blue and Azure Afternoon, basic red, pebble path, and some lemon lolly. Then this is the same designer series paper that we have on the front and that's three quarters of an inch by three and a half with a quarter inch by three and a half of pool party. So we're gonna just put this on the inside of our card. And that's pool party under his feet to ground him. Oh, and I use light smoky slate and the color lifter I think that's the same thing I did on the um, third card. I think it was the third one that I used that image. This is our card and I want some bling. Let me clean my area and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna be using that adhesive back sequence trio pack for our bling. It comes in pretty peacock white and berry burst and we're gonna be using the white ones. Add a couple with my take your pick tool. So we're gonna, hmm, I'll put one up here, yeah. Maybe one, come on, one there. Get a smaller one, put right here. Put one on this side of our little chick, chuck rather. I'm gonna get another big one. Nope, I want a small one. Yeah, I want a small one. And I think I'll put it, put, put, put. Hmm. I think I'll put it down here. Maybe. No, I'm having troubles, help. I'll put it right there. <laughs> I always struggle to put my embellishments. Okay, you guys, isn't that cute? I love this. Because I wanted the card to stand out on its own. That's why I wanted to use some simple embellishment. But I think that is super cute. Rise and shine. It's your birthday. Isn't that cute? I love this. Oh my goodness, and this die is just the greatest. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I want to thank you for buzzing by the hive today. Until next time, buzz you later. Bye. Bye.